Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simply Tanika Dion. I am your host, Dion. All right, now today, guys, I'm going to be doing a full face of new makeup. Now, it may not be new makeup, but it's new to me. And it is drugstore, which is not familiar to me. I'm not familiar with drugstore like that. I am strictly high end. I mean, I'm not saying nothing bad about anybody who uses drugstore uh, more than I do. You know, that's why I started watching a lot of different people now that do drugstore because I want to get into drugstore looks and stuff, especially since I am asked a lot to do beginner friendly and more affordable stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, I've been checking out some people. And, um, yeah, but anyway, so I just went on Ulta, uh, cause I don't go into the stores. I went on Ulta and just checked out some stuff from different people that I saw something here, something there, something there. And I just decided to buy a few things and then just do a makeup look with it. Okay. And, um, also guys, sorry about the happy new year, um, background. I only intended to do the happy new year background for the month of January. And, um, then I'm gonna change it, um, back to something that's more, you know, every day or whatever. No holiday or theme or season or whatever but um yeah haven't did that yet um i'm actually going to be gone the week of the 8th february 8th we're going away for a week for my husband's birthday um so yeah uh, so i'm going to try to squeeze in um the four video <laughs> the four videos i do in this one day i usually do two videos on my beauty channel and two on the wig channel so i'm gonna try to squeeze them all in today normally i would break that up um doing but whatever i'm not going to explain all that but anyway guys so yeah let me go ahead and get started with this uh video so the first thing i have bought was this catrice cosmetics true skin hydrating foundation thought that was real interesting now um can you see this Come on, come on. I don't know this stuff gets on my nerves. But anyway, yeah, this is what it is. And I got the color uh, Neutral Pecan, okay? So yeah, that's what I got. I wanted to try that. Now also, guys, that's the hydrating one. Now I did also pick up the um, uh, HD Liquid one as well because uh, I didn't really, you know, know which one I wanted to uh, try. Although I know this one's hydrating. That's definitely what I want uh, need because I'm... Um, uh, dry skin, um, you know, it's nothing wrong with a matting one either as long as you prep your skin right But anyway today I'm gonna be using this one now. I also picked up the liquid camouflage um, High coverage concealer from Catrice as well um, This is in the color I don't see a color here I don't have my contacts in yet, guys. Well, usually I put them on before I do my makeup, but I did not do that today. So, you know, but it's Catrice just like that. And then also I picked up this Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush. This is what it looks like. It's an ombre. You can see the pretty little ombre in this in there. That's real cute. And I also picked up this Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. Like this. And then like this. All right. And actually I also oh, forgot I picked up this uh, Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. I picked that up too because I wanted, I wanted to try the matching foundation. But they were out of um, a color that I thought would suit me. So I just got the concealer without the foundation. I have to wait till they get that back in. And then also I picked up this Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Call Me Sunshine Palette. and um i did prep my eyes already and also drugstore i use this um uh hd brow pencil by bh cosmetics which works really really nicely it worked really really nice i did like it very nice um and then i uh cleaned up a little bit under my eyes which i don't do a lot because with my eyebrows since they're different so different the way the hairs grow i usually just um brush them up and then fill in the hairs it they usually don't ever match 
but that's okay with me i don't care um and then i just just clean up just a little bit with this um something i got from the beauty uh supply store but i've I had this uh before i haven't used it in a long time but when i was going through my stuff i decided to pull it out but this is uh beauty treats uh concealer crayon yeah just a little crayon and then i just drew it on and blended it out and then i did use the morphe eyelid primer which is what i use every day anyway and then i put some of this um uh beauty trends on top of it just to try to cover up the line a little bit more that i have because you know i'm um, my sagging eyelids and things like that you know and then um I'm going to be using this lash out. I didn't use this yet. Forgot to put that on the side that I'm, I didn't use yet. But I'm going to be using this Elf Lash Out Loud Voluming Mascara. I don't know where I got this from. I think it, it might have been. In, I don't know if this was in a Walmart box. If I bought it, I don't know. I'm not even sure where I got this. But I knew I had it, so I didn't have to order it when I ordered my new makeup stuff. But yeah, it looks like. But yeah, I'm gonna use this. I like the wand, but it doesn't look like a lot of product is coming out. So, I don't know. But you know I wear falsies anyway. And then, for that, I did get um, from Ulta uh, these Kiss Magnetic uh, Lashes. Right here. So, yeah. Wanted to try a drugstore version. Because, you know, I right now I'm using the Glamletic ones. And those are super expensive. They're like $30 a pair, like I said before. And then the liner is like $37. But, like I said, at Christmas time I bought a bundle. It was $80. You get two pairs of lashes and you get the glue. I mean, the uh, magnetic liner. That's what I have. Um, and that's super pricey, you know, for lashes. This was, um, you get the one pair of lashes and you get the magnetic learner this was $16.99 which is definitely definitely affordable um, for people you know what I'm saying okay. and I believe that is everything that I need to do the full face of new makeup that I wanted to try um, and the reason why I showed you ahead of time is because you guys know that I will not be stopping to do each and everything and talking about it because when I do that the video is forever I you know I'm just not one of them people that can uh, do makeup and talk at the same time I'll be on this topic that topic and everything else I'll be talking about yesterday last year whatever I will be on and on and on so I show you stuff ahead of time then I do my little uh, video my little fast forward and all that type stuff tell you about it and boom try to get that thing under 20 minutes BAM okay so without even more talking let's go right ahead and get into the video
this is the finished look so let's talk about it okay now um the let's see i'll start with the catrice true skin hydrating foundation this stuff this stuff Mwah. what can i say y'all know i have very textured skin and you know i i try to buy my foundation a little bit darker um than my true color to try to hide it up even more so you know do whatever i have to do but yeah this stuff is amazing now do i think it is hydrating um yes and no i would say yes because um you know my face doesn't look super super matte you know like when i went to nars uh, soft matte even though it's supposed to be soft matte that's not soft not to me <laughs> but anyway um yeah it, it, it doesn't look dry you know what i'm saying it still has a little bit of a uh mush not mush dewiness to it um yeah so yeah i say it's somewhat hydrating but not super hydrating that's what i'll say it, it's somewhat but not super super hydrating because i did put on uh, a lot of other stuff uh, that was hydrating as well so you know but as far as the foundation itself i thought it would be a little bit more um a little bit more dewy i really did even though it doesn't claim to be dewy but i thought even with it being hydrating i would i don't know but anyway it's still awesome i like it a lot i like it a lot and i'll definitely be using this in some upcoming upcoming videos because i like it i really like it see drugstore coming through that was great and then let's talk about the Wet n Wild Color Icon uh, Call Me Sunshine Palette. You guys, you guys. <sighs> I have not used Wet n Wild probably in 10 years maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably 10 years. But I started wearing, I didn't start wearing makeup until I was like 39 years old. I was old to the game. I really, I mean older. <laughs> I started late in the game, okay? So um yeah so about when i first started pretty much okay this is what i use it so i haven't used this in a long long time y'all because that's you know you use stuff like that when you're trying to learn how to practice and blend and do all that type of stuff you buy the cheaper stuff instead of the expensive stuff or at least that's what i did and then um yeah but so i heard that they had some of these you know some new uh quads this is not even a quad new palettes out i decided to go ahead and try and yeah the pigmentation on it is good as you can see look how good it is i mean good pigmentation i didn't hardly have any any um uh fallout there was some kickback which i was shocked to see wasn't a lot but i was shocked because you know you wouldn't think that a wet and wild palette would have a bunch of uh kickback because it's wet and wild and it's pretty cheap you know what i'm saying so i can't even remember how much i paid for this guys because i probably i was supposed to do a um drugstore slash full face of new products for a long time and i bought this probably like around christmas probably but um yeah so i don't remember how much it cost but yeah the colors were great i really 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 like the colors um as you saw i use this color here for the um in the crease and like the transition shade i use this color and these two colors both on the lid then i use this dark color right here in the outer v and then i use this color right here um as a uh brow bone highlight so uh one two three four five colors today and yeah i will definitely be using this again this is really nice i might they have other ones i might even go pick up another palette because it was really really good now the matte color i did have to build up more but sometimes you have to do that with the matte i mean you know you want them all to be great with just one hit of the um uh eyeshadow but you know everything's not going to be that way but you know i had to build it up somewhat on the matte shade but it's okay it's still it's nice i really like the look that i did today i really liked it um and you guys know i added the extra nyx glitter goals um because i just needed more i just needed more uh, and that is drugstore so i decided to add it. if it wasn't drugstore i wouldn't have put it on there um because you know i'm trying to do more beginner friendly and drugstore type looks well not always drugstore but i did want to include a drugstore look and i am going to be doing more because there's other drugstore products i've been finding out about that i want to try so be looking out for that kind of stuff coming to my channel soon you guys okay so yeah that was really this is really good i i you know suggest 
people go out and try it because it's nice and then the um wet and wild uh ombre blush here i was not a fan of now this i wasn't a fan of um i don't know i think the color was way too light this actually looked like it could have went on as a highlight actually um it wouldn't have been a super bright come on super bright highlight but it would have been nice and subtle for people who like that subtleness um yeah but um you know the the i don't know the color is not for me i like my blush to be just the test see i was using them both together and then i started to just use this top one which was more on the rosy pinky side but that still looked it just looked dry and ashy it was like dry and ashy so you know but whatever it is what it is if you like it then that's nice um but it wasn't working for me today um so yeah and then the highlight the what and wild um highlight in is this the color oh and precious petals um the highlight was nice it went on very nice and you know when i did the video i was like wow because it was like a little wow factor but as you can see it kind of faded away as the day went on because i've probably had this on for about three to four hours now because i did go do a couple of other videos and then um i did cook some um lunch and stuff for my son and then i did one to the family dollar um so yeah and i had this on for like i said maybe three or four hours and you can see as it kind of disappeared um but all in all it still it did show up it, it's, it's okay it's not longevity so if you were to wear this in my opinion you would need to take this with you in your makeup bag and touch up okay so yeah this wasn't a bad product but it just didn't last that long for me okay um and then the elf um uh mascara the elf mascara on my um natural lashes it did a good job i only put one coat because i was wearing um the false lashes but um still i thought it did a good job and then i did use it on the bottom here so it's okay it's okay i would use it again definitely and then um this i forgot to show this in the beginning that i was going to be using this i had found this la girl matte uh flat velvet lipstick and it doesn't have a color but as you can see it's black i thought maybe oh it's called raven okay it's just a black beautiful lipstick and i love it um why i picked black today i don't know i wanted to try my um rihanna black which i still have not been able to wear yet because that's of course not drugstore and i wanted it to be a drugstore um affordable look today so i couldn't use that but i do want to try and i also want to try my jeffree star black um lip liner but i couldn't use that because that's not drugstore either so i was happy that i was able to find this okay from la did i tell you from la girl yeah okay and um that is pretty much everything that i use now uh to get into the magnetic eyeliner this was 16.99 got it from ulta got all the stuff from ulta um and it did an amazing job that's all i have to say i don't want to talk too much about this because i actually have a video coming out where i talk about um three different magnetic lashes and i you know i'll go into all that about these as well when i do that video so that's all i wanted to say is that you saw me use the magnetic lashes because they were drugstore but that's all i'm going to say about it only thing i'm going to say is that i think they worked great and they are a great alternative to spending that expensive money on some of the others so yeah now um that is it that's everything that i have now this unit that i have on today this is a brand new unit this will probably come out tomorrow i think or it may come out before this one i'm not sure i no you know what i think that yeah the unit will come out first this look will come out second so okay so if you're seeing this look um right now then that means this unit is already up and if it is i will go ahead and link it in the card so you can see it in case you missed it okay so Thank you so much for watching today guys i really really appreciate you all if you have not done so already please hit the subscribe button like and comment and i'll see you in the next video